This anime tells about Haruto Amakawa, a 20-year-old university student. It then shows Haruto's past, who promised to meet his childhood friend, Ayase Mihiru. But when he wanted to meet again, Ayase was with another man. Then while on the bus, Haruto saw two women on the bus, then suddenly their bus had a traffic accident and they died, so Haruto and the two women will reincarnate in another world or isekai. As a result, a boy named Ryo, suddenly gets memories from Haruto, so that their memories and personalities become one. Ryo, who is in the slums, intends to avenge his mother, who turns out to have been killed by someone. Not only that, Ryo promised to return to the place where his mother used to live, namely Yaguomo. Next, Ryo meets Celia Claire. Celia asks Ryo about the kidnapping of the second princess of the Beltram kingdom, but Ryo doesn't know about it. Then Celia checked the traces of magic that were there, it turns out that Ryo has quite a lot of magic energy and has the potential to be able to use magic, then Ryo gets a lot of rewards from Celia. After that, Ryo back to his place. While inside, Ryo was suddenly attacked by someone. Then there was a female spirit who told Ryo to use the spirit technique, so that his physical strength increased, and he managed to beat the villain easily. <laughs> Then Rio meets Flora, a princess who Celia is looking for. Flora asks Rio to take her back to the palace. While walking, Rio meets Celia and the others, as a result, Rio will be taken to the kingdom for interrogation. At the palace, Rio was treated badly by the vice captain of the royal guard, Charles Arbor. He forced Rio to be the mastermind behind the kidnapping, but Rio refused and he was tortured by Charles. In the room, Flora who had woken up wanted to thank Rio for saving her, but Rio was beaten up by Charles. Luckily Celia healed Rio's wounds, and Rio was asked to meet the king there, that's why he learned manners from Celia so that he deserved to meet the king. Furthermore, Rio also got a scholarship to study at the Royal Academy, and the teacher who taught there was Celia. During class, Ryo was looked down upon by other noble students, but Ryo didn't care about it. After that Ryo stopped by Celia's place to learn to read there, and Ryo easily answered the questions Celia gave, naturally because Ryo had Haruto's memories of being a student before. Then during sword practice, Ryo was asked to attack the teacher who was teaching there, thanks to Haruto's experience, Ryo also amazed the teacher with his sword technique. Not only that, during the exam, Ryo was ranked first with Christina, the first princess of the kingdom so that the other nobles started hating Ryo. Then several years later Ryo was chosen to take part in the Royal Knights Tournament. During the tournament Ryo faced Charles who had tortured him before. Because Charles had grudges with Ryo, he fought Ryo with all his might, but Ryo managed to beat him and that made the Knight Commander Alfred amazed by Ryo's abilities. <laughs> Furthermore training outside the magic academy, however there is a criminal who is targeting Ryo. Then there was an orc monster that attacked them, so that one of the students even pushed Flora into the abyss, seeing this Ryo immediately saved her. While the other students managed to defeat the monster, then one of the students even accused Ryo of having pushed Flora into the abyss, even though the culprit was himself. Seeing that, Ryo also intended to leave the academy as soon as possible, then suddenly a very strong monster appeared there, so they became cornered and decided to run away from there. Meanwhile, Flora was confronted by the monster, luckily Ryo saved her again, and Ryo managed to defeat the monster alone. After that Ryo also met Celia so he could say goodbye to Celia. Not only that, Ryo will also send letters to Celia using the pseudonym Haruto, so that Celia becomes sad because she already has feelings for Ryo, but they have to separate. 
Next Ryo headed to Yagumo's place, but before that he stopped by Galark Kingdom to buy some food, and Ryo also met Lizalota who would help him in looking for food ingredients, not only that Ryo also sent a letter about his journey to Celia. Then Ryo meets a human half-animal who suddenly attacks him, and he intends to kill Ryo, resulting in a fight, but Ryo manages to beat him. It turned out that she was a slave named Latifa, not only that she was Endo Suzune's reincarnation, after the accident her memories were reincarnated into Latifa's body. As a result he became the slave of Ryo's previous classmate. That's why he was ordered to kill Ryo. Meanwhile, Ryo had released his slave collar, so Latifa was free, but because she had no goal, she went with Ryo to the east. Ryo also realized that Latifa was a reincarnation too, after calling pasta food with spaghetti. Next they headed to the world tree where Dryas lived, but at night Ryo was attacked by human half-animals, Ryo also wanted to avoid the fight and talk to them. However, they still attacked Ryo, because they thought that Ryo had kidnapped their friends. As a result Ryo was hit by an attack and fainted. Then Ryo had a dream about the woman who had taught him the spirit technique previously, after realizing that Ryo met with the village elder. Luckily the misunderstanding was cleared up, so Ryo was released and asked to meet with the other village elder. While meeting with the elders they thanked Ryo for freeing Latifa from slavery. So Ryo decided to stay there while studying spirit techniques, then a world tree spirit appeared, Dryas. He also checked the spirit in Ryo's body, it turns out that Ryo has a spirit in the form of a human who is very rare or a high level spirit. After that, Ryo always practiced spirit techniques in that village, and learned many things there. Then there was the previous villain named Rice who had taken the wyvern eggs in his nest, and he intended to use his friend as bait, so that the wyverns would chase him and attack the world tree where Ryo and the others were. Meanwhile, Rice returned to the wyvern's lair to retrieve all the eggs. After one year of living there, Ryo officially became their friend, and received a kiss of blessing from Dryas. Then they had a big party there. And Latifa looks very happy when she is there. After that the wyvern appeared there to take back the egg, but instead he headed towards the world tree. Meanwhile, Rice managed to take all the wyvern eggs, so he immediately killed his friend because his task as bait had been completed. As a result he fell in front of Latifa, because the egg had been broken the wyvern went berserk and attacked Latifa. Fortunately Ryo immediately came and attacked the wyvern with his bare hands. And Ryo managed to beat him easily. Then Ryo will head to Yagumo while Latifa will stay in that village. Furthermore, Ryo was given a sword and robe from the wyvern, not only that, Ryo was also given space-time storage so he could store luggage there. So that made Ryo look like Kirito's successor, and he headed towards Yagumo. Next Ryo arrived at Yagumo village, and met with Ruri and Sayo. They also escorted Ryo to his grandmother who was the head of the village there. Then Ryo told the village head about his parents, it turned out that the village head was Ryo's father's mother, so Ryo would be staying there for a while. When he was there, Ryo easily attracted the women in the village, not only that, Ryo also built a bath there. Furthermore, Sayo's Kaka, Shin, instead fights with Gon, the son of the village head next door, and he intends to enter Ruri and Sayo's bathing place. Luckily the head of the village stopped him. Then at night Gon sneaked into Ruri and Sayo's room, Gon also intended to attack Ruri who was sleeping. Luckily Ryo came right away and beat them all up. Seeing this, Ryo remembered his mother's death, so Ryo continued to beat Gon and intended to kill him. Luckily Ryo managed to calm down. Next, Gon and his friends were taken to the royal capital Karasuki, and Ryo also came to the capital with Sayo and Shin. When they got there, Ryo and Sayo took a walk together, and Ryo bought accessories for Sayo so that he managed to conquer Sayo. Then Ryo met the maid who served Ryo's mother before, it turned out that his mother was a princess of the Karasuki kingdom, Ayame Karasuki. Meanwhile, his father is Zen, a powerful samurai and bodyguard of the royal family. But a prince from another kingdom even wanted to take Ayame from Zen, so the two of them decided to run away from the Karasuki kingdom and live together in a place very far away. Then Ryo was asked to meet the king and queen at the palace, because they were Ryo's grandparents. When he met them, Ryo also told about his life with his mother, where his mother had been killed in front of him, and the culprit was Lucius, an adventurer. That's why Ryo wanted to avenge his revenge on Lucius. After that the king also asked Ryo to fight with the strongest samurai there, so that he could become stronger and ready to take his path of revenge.
but Rio managed to beat him. Furthermore, after more than two years of living there Rio also intended to return to Latifa's place, and that made Sayo want to go with Rio. Before Rio wanted to leave the village, Sayo also expressed his feelings and wanted to go with Rio, but Rio refused because Rio still has feelings with his childhood friend. So the next day Sayo said goodbye to Rio, after that Rio returned to the world tree and met Latifa again. Dan will live there for a while and enjoy life surrounded by beautiful women. The next day suddenly there was a female spirit beside Rio. It turned out that she was a spirit who had made a contract with Rio before, and she also knew all about Rio and Haruto. Then she asked Rio to give her a name, after seeing her resemblance to her childhood friend she gave her the name Aishia. Then they went to Dryas to ask about Aishia, but Dryas didn't know about it at all because Aishia had no memory of herself. So Dryas asked the two of them to fight in order to measure Aishia's abilities. <laughs> But Aishia mastered all of Ryo's spirit techniques. And that makes him stronger. After that Ryo also wanted to return to the Beltram Kingdom, before leaving Ryo got various kinds of gifts from the elders, one of which was a teleportation tool and a hair color changing tool. So Ryo headed to the Beltram Kingdom and met Celia. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Celia was even forced to marry Charles, who had tortured Ryo before. When he got there, Ryo disguised himself and immediately sneaked into the academy. But Celia wasn't in her research lab, and was in the royal palace. As a result Rio also knows that Celia will marry Charles Arbor. The marriage happened because the Beltram Kingdom had suffered defeat with the Proxia Empire, but thanks to the Arbor noble family they managed to make peace. And that made the noble family of the king cornered, as a result the Arbor aristocratic wanted to take over the kingdom, for that he had to solidify his noble status by marrying the noble Claire. Aristotle Claire also had no choice because they had been threatened by Charles, as a result, Celia and father couldn't do anything. Especially, knowing that Rio and Aishia sneaked into the royal palace, and Rio went straight to Celia. Rio also wanted to know the truth about the marriage, but Celia lied and didn't tell Rio, and told him to leave from there. The next day Celia was introduced to all the wives of Charles, where Celia will become the seventh wife of Charles. Furthermore, the wedding ceremony began, but Rio immediately made a mess there. Not only did Rio take Celia hostage so that the security forces could not attack, then after Rio and Celia spoke, Celia also asked Rio to take her away from there. And Rio saved her from this rotten marriage. <laughs> After that, Rio handed Celia over to Aishia, while Rio would become bait so they could escape. As a result, Rio faced the commander of the knight and the king of swords, namely Alfred, resulting in a very fierce battle. Luckily at the last moment Rio managed to survive and meet Celia and Aishia again. Then suddenly pillars of light appeared everywhere, then Aishia sensed Ayase's presence and asked Rio to save her. It was possible that the three of them had been summoned to that world, but instead they were captured by the bandits. Luckily Rio arrived there and killed all the bandits. As a result, Rio met again with Ayase Mihiru. Thank you to keep watching the content from this channel. Remember to like and subscribe to keep you updated with our latest content. See you in the next video.